now let's see a c program in order to implement uh, sequential file allocation algorithm uh, we have three types of file allocation techniques so the simplest one is uh, sequential file allocation so in this video we are going to discuss a c program in order to demonstrate uh, sequential file allocation first let us see the input and output and then we will see the program so enter number of files so that we have three files enter file name one let first file name is sample one enter starting block of file one zero enter number of blocks in file one that is three so here sequential file allocation means a set of adjacent blocks a set of contiguous blocks will be allocated for the file so here the inputs are in addition to the file name we have to specify starting block of the file as well as number of blocks of the file so here the starting block is 0 so 0 plus number of blocks are 3 so 0 1 2 are allocated for the sample 1 if you take second file so file name is sample 2 starting block is 5 number of blocks are 4 so 5 total number of blocks are 4 so 5 6 7 8 so these four blocks will be allocated for second file so a set of contiguous blocks will be allocated for the file let the third file name is sample 3 starting block is 13 number of blocks are 5 so here the starting block is 13 so 13 5 blocks so 13 14 15 16 17 so these five blocks will be allocated for sample 3 so now let's see the next input enter the file name to be searched let the file name is sample 2 then we have to display file name starting block number of blocks as well as the blocks which are occupied by the file so file name is sample 2 starting block is 5 for sample 2 what is the starting block 5 next number of blocks are 4 so blocks occupied are so 5 plus 4 uh, 5 including 5 so 5 6 7 8 so 4 blocks so for that we have to write the program so let us see the program so here uh, in addition to the stdio we need to have string.h also why because here we are giving a file name as the input we have to check whether our file name is present in the list of files or not for that we need strcmp function strcmp function is available in string.h name of the structure is file here we are taking structure uh, and the structure totally contains three members first member is name of the file which is a character array second member is sb sb specifies starting block of the file and the next one is nob nob specifies number of blocks of the file so both are integer data types next f of 30 is an array of structures so totally we can use 30 structures 30 files so out of 30 files now in this program we are using only three files only next uh, integer main uh, ij are the loop variables we need to read a string so for that we have taken a character array name of the array is yes next to print of enter the number of files so we are reading number of files next we have to read the file name as well as starting block of the file as well as number of blocks so let's see here enter file name so file name is a string so uh, percentage s is the format specifier so scan of percentage s comma f of file dot name if you want you can use ampersand also here the file name should not contain any spaces uh, so that's why here we are using scanner function we know the problem in scanner function scanner function can't read any blank space suppose in the file name if you want to include blank space also then it is better to use gets function gets of f of i dot name next enter the starting block of the file so scan of percentage d comma yam percent f of i dot sb so here this the here this uh, the first for loop here this is for first file so the information will be stored in f of 0 next next information will be stored in f of 1 
Next information will be stored in F of 2. Here total number of files are 3. So those 3 files information will be stored in 3 structure variables such as F of 0, F of 1 and F of 2. So likewise we have uh, uh, read uh, number of blocks also. Next we have to display the file name content. So for that we are reading here the file name. Print of enter the file name to be searched. So scan of percentage s comma s. Next here we are taking the for loop. In the for loop what we are doing? We are checking whether our string is present in list of file names or not. Suppose we know about strcmp function. It is useful to compare two strings. If both the strings are equal then it returns zero. So let the string name is uh, sample1. Uh, sample1 exists in the corresponding list of files. So it returns zero. So whenever whenever our file name ex whenever our string exists in the list of file names then it returns zero so break statement will be executed so the control comes out from the for loop suppose assumes that our file name is not uh, our string is not present in list of file names then what will happen here n value is 3 so whenever i becomes 3 then the condition will becomes false so 3 less than 3 condition is false so the control comes out from the for loop uh, if i double equal to n what is the value whenever the condition is false then i value is 3 only 3 double equal to 3 condition is true so file not found will be printed but here there is no problem our string is present here so break statement will be executed so whenever break statement is executed then there is no need to compare the remaining files so control comes out from the for loop so now our i and n both are not equal so else block will be executed in the else block simply we are displaying the file name start block number of blocks as well as blocks occupied so here we are using a for loop in order to print the file name f of i dot name the format specifier is percentages next to starting block f of i dot sb uh, so that is nothing but percentage d next f of i dot nob that is nothing but percentage d number of blocks will also be printed next we have to display the blocks occupied so blocks occupied means simply we have to add that j value to the starting block of the file so for j equal to 0 j less than f of i dot n o b uh, so let number of blocks are 4 so now this for loop will be repeated for 4 times so every time what will happen this j value will be added to f of i dot s b so let us assume that starting block of the file is 0 starting block of the file is 0 whereas the number of blocks are 3 then what will happen so 0 less than 3 as condition is true so now every time what will happen j value will be added to uh, that 3 okay so 3 plus 0 so uh, uh, yeah f of i dot sb here what is the starting block 0 is the starting block various number of blocks are 3 okay so 0 less than 3 as condition is true so first to 0 will be printed next j will become 1 so 0 plus 1 1 will be printed 1 less than 3, next 2 less than 3, 3 less than 3. So likewise every time what will happen, j will be added to the corresponding starting block. Okay. Now let us check whether our program is producing correct results or not. So this is our program. Now let us run the program. Enter number of files. Let number of files are 2. Enter file name 1. Let file name 1 is sample 1. Don't give any space between sample and 1. Why? Because we are using scanner function. Enter starting block of the file. Let the starting block is 1. Enter number of blocks. Let the number of blocks are 3. Next, enter file name 2. Let the second file name is sample 2. Enter starting block of the file 5. Next, enter number of blocks 4. So, next, enter file name to be searched. Let the file name is sample 2. Now, sample 2 is available in the list of files now what will happen sample 2 information will be displayed sample 2 is the file name starting block is 5 number of blocks are 4 and the blocks occupied are first to 5 will be displayed next to 6 7 8 so totally 4 blocks so if you see here uh, sample 2 5 4 4 blocks uh, next to 5 6 7 8 are nothing but blocks occupied so this is about the c program to uh, to implement sequential file allocation I will share the program code in the first comment. I will ping that comment. So please.